Dear students, after uh, Cauchy's integral theorem, integral formula, and integral formula of derivatives in the unit complex integration, next comes Taylor series and Lorentz series. Let us see what is Taylor series. See, when the function is analytic inside a circle, C0, with center at A and radius R0, then at each point Z inside C0 can be written as f of z equal to f of a plus f dash of a by 1 factor into z minus a plus f double dash of a by 2 factor into z minus a whole square and so on. This series is Taylor series. When you put a is equal to 0 when the center is at 0, a is equal to 0 then Taylor series become Maclaurin series, right? Maclaurin series f of 0, f dash of 0 by 1 factor into z, a becomes 0. This is Taylor series which you know already, okay? You have studied even in plus 1, plus 2. This is Taylor series in, in, um, when we have center at A, right? This is Taylor series when A is 0. Taylor series when A is 0 is called Maclaurin series. Next comes the Lorentz series or Lorentz theorem. Isn't it? You consider two circles, C1 and C2. Two circles, concentric circles. What's meaning concentric circles? Both circles have same center but different radius. Both circles have same center but different radius. And this is a concentric circle. And the region between the circles is called annular region. Right? Let us consider C1, C2, the concentric circles with center and A and radii R1, R2. Two different radius. Right? And F of Z is analytic on C1 and C2 throughout the annular region. Listen here. So, function is analytic even on the curve C1, on the curve C2, even in the region between C1 and C2. Okay. Then, at each point Z in R, in the region R, F of Z can be written as summation N from 0 to infinity A n into Z minus A whole power N plus summation B n into Z minus A whole power minus N N from 1 to infinity. Okay. Well, it is given what is A n and B n. It is just the theorem which we will not use it in problems. Listen here. When they ask you to write statement, you should know. When they ask us to do problem, expand the function in Taylor series, Lorentz series, expand the function in Lorentz series. We will not use this formula. We will not use this formula. Okay. So you will learn it and the statement may be asked. Right. So... Um, uh, it is important for just for statement. We will not use it in our problems. Okay. So you can see here we have positive powers of n. Here we have negative powers of n. Right. When n takes values negative powers of z minus a. Negative powers of here positive powers of z minus a. Negative powers of z minus a. Not n. In negative powers of z minus a. It is given what is a n and b n. Okay. Here you can see n takes values from 0, 1, 2 etc n takes 1, 2, etc. You go through reason why 0 is not here. If you go through, you can understand. Okay. Next comes, listen here. See, Taylor series and Lorentz series expansions, right? Taylor and Lorentz expansions, listen here. What we do is, uh, they are not usually found by the theorems given above, right? So, I told you, right? So, we want you to find expansion, we won't use theorem. Theorem. We have simpler method, other simpler methods such as use of binomial series. So, how will we get expansion of Taylor series and Lorentz series? By simply using binomial expansion. By using binomial expansion, we get answer. Okay. So, next comes, here if we have, I told you, right, positive powers of z minus a is called analytic part of Lorentz series. Negative powers of z minus a is called the principal part of uh, Lorentz series. So this uh, a n, right? This term. This is positive powers, right? Positive powers of z minus a, which is called analytic power, um, analytic uh, what it is the analytic part of Lorentz series, and it is this negative powers of z minus a is called principal part of Lorentz series. Okay. Analytic part and principal part. So I told you we get Lorentz series expansion, Taylor series expansion by using binomial expansion. 
So with these two we often use 1 plus x whole power minus 1 which is 1 minus x alternate positive negative. 1 minus x whole power minus 1 all terms are positive here. And you can use this formula only when this portion x modulus of x is less than 1. Only when modulus of x is less than 1. So first we test whether modulus of x is less than 1. If it is less than 1 this formula can be used. Okay. This formula can be used only when modulus of x is less than 1. So you know now what is Taylor's theorem and what is Lorentz theorem. And you know these theorems are we will not use it in problems. Right? We have another method of expanding the function as a series. Uh, that is by using binomial expansion. And negative powers of z minus a in Lorentz series is called the principal part. Positive powers of z minus a in Lorentz series is called the analytic part. Right? It is enough and these two formula and you can expand this as a series only when mod x is less than 1. So first you should test whether this portion is less than 1. If it is less than 1 this formula binomial expansion can be used. Okay. Let us see problems. So what is our aim? We are going to expand the function as a series. Okay. F of z will be given e power z. Expand it as a series may be question. So we are going to expand the function as a series by Taylor's theorem and Lorentz theorem. We will not use theorem, okay, using binomial expansion. Dear students, uh, let us see problems of Taylor series. Expand e power z in a Taylor series about the point z equal to 0. So when they ask us to find about the point z equal to 0, we use Taylor series. You consider f of z the same method which you learnt, okay, value of the function at z equal to 0 f of z, f dash of z, f double dash of z, right? And it goes on. Taylor series at z equal to 0 is Maclaurin series. This is our Maclaurin series. Substitute the values of function, you will meet answer, okay? So this is the expansion of e power z. 1 plus z by 1 factorial plus z square by 2 factorial plus z cube by 3 factorial plus etc. okay? Expand the function as a Taylor series. So, we have expanded e power z as a series. Now, expand this function as a Taylor series. About the point x z equal to 2. When they ask us to find about the point z equal to 2, we use a Taylor's theorem. Function f of z. See, being, we need to differentiate. Let us take z square to numerator, z power minus 2. You differentiate it. Okay. Find the value of the function z power minus 2 is 1 by z square. z power minus 3 is 1 by z cube. It is 1 by z power 4, 1 by z power 5. After finding the Taylor series about z equal to say a is this form, uh, series, right? Let us replace a as 2 because we need Taylor series about the point z equal to 2. Please substitute the values f of z, f dash of z, f triple dash, double dash, etc. You find up to third derivative enough, okay? Substitute it here. Next, expand f of z equal to log of 1 plus z as a Taylor series. So, the log of 1 plus z, when you differentiate, 1 by 1 plus z. Differentiating z, it is 1. Take it to numerator because... From next time when you differentiate, you can reduce power, right? X, x to the power n, n into x power n minus 1. After reducing power, differentiate the term 1 plus z, which is 1. Do up to third derivative. So, you find the answer. We know Taylor series about z equal to 0 is Maclaurin series. Substitute the value, get answer. Okay. I have given you, if you know, okay. Otherwise, 1 plus z whole power minus 3 is 1 by 1 plus z whole cube. Similarly, okay, whole square. So, before, so that if you substitute z equal to 0, you can get 2 here. You can get minus 1 here. Okay. Expand the function at z equal to 1 in Taylor series. When they ask you to expand uh, the function exactly at the point or about the point, we use our Taylor series, okay. 
see the, take this term to numerator so the differentiation may be easy okay so after differentiating bring the term down so that you can find the value again differentiate again get the term down so that you can find the value i need not explain the same method what you learnt okay f of z equal to this is the formula about z equal to a substitute the values okay you can see you have got answer in powers of z minus 1 so when they ask you to find taylor series at z equal to 1 our answer is in powers of z minus 1 you can go through other problems when they ask you to find taylor series about z equal to 0 we get taylor series in powers of z that is z minus 0 is z you can see any problem see when they ask you to find taylor series about z equal to 2 we have got taylor series in powers of z minus 2 okay taylor series z minus 2 whole power 1 whole whole square whole cube when they ask us to find taylor series of the function at z equal to 2 we get taylor series in powers of z minus 2 okay and i have given you some homework problems some problems homework dear students let us see other model problems of taylor series and lorentz series so you can see here this is the function given expand it as taylor series is the question but when you see it is for the region mod z less than 2 mod z less than 2 right so if you go through other problems what we have seen it is about the point or at the point so we used the simply theorem and we completed but here we have to do for the region what is this region here x square plus y square less than 2 that is the interior region of the circle so we have to expand the function as a taylor series for the interior region of the circle okay so when they give us region the method what we learned earlier is not suitable here how we do is I told you already. Here, what we do is we use binomial expansion. We have to expand this function as series, right? We shall use binomial expansion. Uh, you should know thoroughly binomial theorem so that you may feel easy. Okay? Let us start here. Take the function. Use partial fraction method. It is both are linear factors. So a by b by. When you take LCM, see denominators get cancelled. we have find the values of a and b by giving values to z when z equal to minus 3 a will become 0 uh, this term will become 0 you can get the answer b when when you give z equal to minus 2 b will become this term will become 0 you will get a after getting a and b substitute the values of a and b here and this is actually f of z so we have f of z what is the question expand f of z as a series so you have to expand this as a series so we here in series for certain region right mod z less than 2 we have to use binomial expansion which we know binomial expansion is 1 plus x whole power minus 1 or 1 minus x whole power minus 1 formula both formula can be used only when the modulus of x is less than 1 i told you right i told you in the last video uh, when when we use the listen here we expand this by binomial expansion see 1 plus x whole power minus 1 1 minus x whole power minus 1 these two can be expanded as series only when this portion modulus of this portion is less than 1 okay so what we do here is we have to this is the region given using this we have to get x what is x and hence check what whether modulus of x is less than 1 so that binomial expansion can be used that this term will become series problem over right mod z is less than 2 since we need less than 1 to get binomial expansion let us divide both sides by 2 now mod z by 2 can be written as whole modulus of z by 2 it is very clear that it this is our x this is our x 1 plus x whole power minus 1 where modulus of x is less than 1 where binomial expansion can be used okay so you can see in the next page see this i have said z by 2 is our x 
In order to get z by 2, take 2 outside. z by 2 plus 1. Keep 1 by 2 as it is outside. Take this term to numerator. 1 plus z by 2 whole power minus 1. Now it is ready to use binomial expansion. 1 minus x plus x square etc. Because modulus of this portion is less than 1. Okay. See modulus of you can use binomial expansion only when this portion is less than 1. Okay. Similarly we should do for the other uh, half. This is z plus 3. This is the only region given. Mod z less than 2. Now what I do is since I have 3 I divide both sides by 3. 2 by 3. What is 2 by 3? 0 0.6666 right? Which is less than 1. So mod z by 3 is less than 1. Or whole modulus of z by 3 is less than 1. So binomial series can be used. Binomial expansion can be used. Only when this portion is less than 1. So we have got here. This is our x. Once you identify x problem is easy. So it is z by 3. Now you can see. In order to get z by 3 as our x, take 3 outside. 3 outside, z by 3 plus 1. Keep 1 by 3 as it is. Take this term to numerator. Now it is ready to use binomial expansion because this portion, modulus of this portion is less than 1. So the given function is expanded as Taylor series by using binomial expansion, okay, which completes this problem. Some may feel easy, some may feel easy. Some may feel difficult this heading, Taylor series, Lorentz series. If you think it is difficult, you go through all the videos I give. You go through. And if you feel difficult, you leave it, okay? You can leave a heading in each unit. If you feel difficult, you leave it, okay? Let us see other problems, uh, four or five problems. Even after seeing four or five problems, if you feel difficult, you leave this heading, okay? Thank you, ma'am.